Crime never pays, unless you don't get caught. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Stealing is wrong. Very, very wrong. Yes. Do not do it. Though there is one exception to that. If you happen to be stealing for entertainment purposes via difficult yet stupid physical challenges, then by all means, go ahead and get your klepto on. Yeah, then stealing is right. Very, very right. It's time for Not So Smooth Criminals. Try not to get caught. Part two. Welcome to the scene of the crime zone. Was that cool? It was cool. I remember doing this before. Stevie, are we doing it again? You're doing something. Okay, in every round, there will be a crime committed by one of you. But before each crime takes place, one of you will be named the investigator, and the other four players will all be potential suspects. Suspects will each receive an envelope that contains either an alibi or, if you are the secret criminal, a description of the crime you must commit. The criminal will have 60 seconds to pull off the crime and deposit a stolen item into the safe. Once time is up, the investigator may interrogate everyone to try and determine who the criminal really is. If the criminal is caught, their mugshot, along with the crime they committed, will be posted on Instagram so they may be forever shamed. Oh my. Whoa. Oh, that's horrible. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. Okay, first up, we find ourselves in a child's playroom where a little schoolboy is settling down for his after lunch nap. And Link, you are the investigator this round. That's why you're blindfolded. As and you can see, I can't. Yeah. Okay, when I say so, the rest of you will look inside your envelope and memorize your alibi or read the crime you're about to commit. Link, if you cannot correctly ID the criminal after the theft has gone down, not only will your mugshot go on Instagram accusing you of the crime, so will the mugshot of the person you wrongly accuse since they weren't good enough to convince you of their innocence. <laughs> okay, suspects, you may look at your envelopes now. Okay, criminal, ready, set, steal. What the freaking quick? <laughs> Smell peanut butter. You're panting. Okay, Link, you may remove your blindfold. Okay, here. <laughs> As you can see, a lunchbox has been stolen from a little napping schoolboy. <laughs> what the frick? You may Frickin go down frick? the line and ask each player for an alibi and size them up for any possible clues. <clears throat> So with that type of peanut butter happening, I see peanut butter on everybody's pants. <laughs> I heard shoes going off. Apparently shoes are back on. Nicole. Yes. Did you steal that lunchbox? Of course not. Me? Never. I was eating pancakes with my feet to prove that I could do it. Hmm. <laughs> Rhett, you look guilty. Hmm. Is that just resting guilt face? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Oh, I did nothing except mm -hmm. some somersaults behind the Planet Fitness because I don't want to pay for a membership, but I like the atmosphere of the parking lot. <laughs> I had to jumpstart your wife in a Planet Fitness whoa, parking whoa, lot. Whoa, 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 now, hope. <laughs> she couldn't get a hold of you, so I swooped in for the rescue. You don't jumpstart my wife <laughs> without my express permission. Emily? What? <laughs> you didn't do this, did you? No, I was busy seeing Banshees of Insurin for a second time. <laughs> so you've seen it twice. Tell me about it. Oh man, Colin Farrell, hubba hubba. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other guy? Uh, oh, eh, you know. <laughs> 
Not my type, but he could get it with someone. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) David Hill. There's no fences to jump over here. How did you get that lunchbox so easily? I'm innocent because I was busy getting stung by thousands of bees because I wanted to look slow. You know, give me a little bit more muscle. You know? Yeah. Wow, everybody seemed to be pretty busy. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any peanut butter on fingers. Emily, let me see your hands. And the other one? Why are you making that face? This is my face, Link. <laughs> Sorry. (laughs) Uh, I feel like this was David Hill. There's a little more peanut butter on his right shoulder. There's only peanut butter on everybody else's pants. David Hill, it was you. Will the real criminal please identify themselves? I was making a face. I was totally making a face. <laughs> was something on your are, hands? Are those glasses Wait. not working? That's just jelly, like glob, <laughs> oh, right, right on her she's hand. Covered. And then she held up her peanut butter covered hand. You're like, well, I guess there's nothing there's there. There's also just peanut butter all over the envelope. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't see that. Yeah. Covering her hands, just covering her hands. I didn't even notice the jelly. Yeah. yeah. There's just this giant, everywhere. giant and, gem of jelly. Now you've done it, Link, because now not only your mugshot has to go up, but poor David Swole Hill. Bill's oh, mugshot oh, has to go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> now we're taken to a medieval kingdom where Princess Jade is safely guarded in her castle. David Hill, you are the investigator for this round. The rest of you, please memorize your alibis starting now. Okay, criminal, ready, set, steal. Halt! To set the princess free, you must strike me time three. One, uh, two, uh, three. And time. David Hill, you may remove your blindfold. As you can see, Princess Jade has been kidnapped. (laughs) You may now go down the line and ask each player for an alibi. Right. What's your alibi? And as you're doing your alibi, please do this back and forth as you're giving your alibi. Well, there was a sale at the flannel place. I got a bunch of flannel. So much flannel. I got a pair of PJs. Uh. Were the PJs inside the castle? No, they were the the, uh, flannel store. (laughs) There's a dragon in that castle. (laughs) (laughs) Who knew? All right, Link, as you're giving your alibi, please do the Macarena. Dude, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> Not the Macarena. Uh, when, when, my, when I took my dog, I was, I was giving my other dog a melted popsicle because uh, he's been having stomach troubles. Okay, okay. Good Macarena. Nicole. Hi. What's your alibi? And then... Just move like this as you give me your alibi. Oh, wow. I was in a Buffalo Wild Wings bathroom. Got locked there. It smelled like blue cheese. Ooh. Emily. Yeah. What's your alibi? And move your shoulders like this. I was on a wine safari. (laughs) And this giraffe, like, got into the grapes, and it was like a whole thing. Now, on that wine safari, was there a goblin? Not to my knowledge, no. (laughs) Okay, David Hill, 
Who do you think committed the crime? Link. Why? Because of the silly string on your nose, <laughs> on your hand, on your shoes. It's Will everywhere. Will the criminal please identify themselves? Mm. Ah! Hey. Ah! You don't get that from flannel. Ah. <laughs> Turn around. You got some string all the way there. Should have that was a spin. I mean, that was a quick string. I can't believe you got rid of all of them. Yeah, put it on y'all. You killed Jenna. She okay? All right, David Hill. That means you and Link once again. Us again. <laughs> get your mug shots on Instagram. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. This round brings us to V's Italian restaurant, where the Mythical Kitchen's secret recipe is locked up tightly in the back. Nicole. Hey. You're looking great in the trench. And you're the investigator this round. So the rest of y'all's look in those envelopes now. It's lunchtime. I hope no one touches my meatballs and finds the hidden clue inside. Okay, criminal. Ready, set, steal. Ten seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, time. Nicole, you may remove your blindfold. As you can see, the Mythical Kitchen's secret recipe has been stolen. You may go down the line and ask each player for an alibi. Rhett, where were you the day the secret recipe was stolen? I was dealing with a cramp. Where? <laughs> you know the calf. Mm, yeah. Can you do a 360 for me, please? Faster. <laughs> nice. OK, thank you so much. Link! Hey. Where were you? The day that the mythical kitchen secret recipe was stolen from our hands. Well, I was I was definitely nowhere near that pasta and meatball shop because I'm flirting with veganism. <laughs> okay, would you like to ex expand on that? What that means? Yeah, a, it's a person oh. named veganism. <laughs> First nice. name vegan, last name ism. Very 2023 of you. Let me get a 360 of you. <clears throat> Ooh, I like that. Ooh, right. I got two of those. Okay. Uh, Emily. Ah, uh, yeah. Where were you the day the secret formula recipe was stolen from the clutches of the mythical kitchen? Well, speaking of names, um, I was busy brainstorming a name for Rihanna's baby. Okay, what did you come up with? So far, I've got Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, I'm, I'm kind of getting on the edge of like, is it a PH? Or a G E O F F? Oh, no. We're not oh, doing sorry. That. Okay. J E P H? Uh, let me get a 360 from you, please. A nice little twirl. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> David Hill, where were you the day, the time, the moment the mythical kitchen <laughs> secret recipe was ripped from our clutches? So, actually, I was committing a crime, but not this crime. Oh. Because I was getting my hot air balloon for my trip to Bali. Nice. Spring break's coming. I've, I've heard the waterfalls are great. Can you do a little 360 for me? I'm going place? back to Bali. Going back to Bali. Bali's total fitness. Love it. This is my Bali dance. Wow, nice. Mm hmm Nice. All right. Well, I know who it is. <laughs> it's all. Should I say something? Should I say something? Please. Don't. Okay. It's Link! 
I could tell by your scurrying before no. I saw the damage. But, yeah. <laughs> also, the noodle is just right in front of me. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's like pointing to it. It's like it's yeah, like right there. But there's nothing on my back. No, this time. no, you clear as day. Okay, good. Well, uh, I didn't I, fall for that one. This means a uh, link for the third time. This game, your mug shots going on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I was right. Yes. Yeah. Oh good. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> And now, of course, the apocalypse is upon us, and the cure to the zombie virus lies just inside the research lab. And Rhett, you're the investigator this round, but before we begin, is there anything that you've really been itching to say? Oh, well, you know what I've really been itching to say? I've really been wanting to talk about Mythical Kitchen's new series, Aprons Off! Where they just get to be their wonderful selves, you know? They're, it's just they've got the best personalities. And I just love just seeing them interact with one another and just talking about things. And we learn more about who they are as people. And really, we really get to know their heart. Aprons off. New episodes every Friday on Mythical Kitchen. Okay. Open your envelopes. Um. The zombie apocalypse is here! Just like I wrote about in my manifesto slash erotic Frasier fan fiction! Okay, criminal. Ready, set, steal. Quick, get over here! I also need to fight off the Babadooks, which are another problem we're having. All right! I'll hold them off while you look for the cure. And remember, the real cure is delicious. So make sure to give your mouth a squirt of all three. The most delicious one is the cure. I do not know why the scientists set it up like that. <laughs> Hurry! Hurry, get the cure so I can get back to my day job. Feminine hygiene blogger for Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. 10 seconds. And time. Rhett, you may remove your blindfold. You can see that the zombie apocalypse Whoa. has taken place and the cure has been stolen by the criminal with the help of Mr. Malachi. You may go down the line and ask each player for their alibi. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like quite a mess was made. Hmm, hmm. Emily, you look like you got something to say. Um, I, I definitely, were you asking me if I did this? Yeah. Okay. I was on a cruise, so I couldn't have done this. <laughs> right. I go on wine safaris, I go on cruises, I go everywhere. You're living the life. Uh, and I was playing chess with uh, Satan, but I had to let him win, because it's like, ugh. Um, can I see your hands? Wow, wow, okay. Um, Nicole, were you also on the cruise? No, I was at home fluffing my pillow so I could get an extra luxurious night's sleep. Now, fluffing a pillow is nothing like fluffing a panda, right? I'm sorry, P Panda? If you know, you know. Oh, Emily just explained it to me. Gross! Can I see your hands? Sure. Link? Yep. Are you responsible for this? Heck to the no, man. Because I saw an old friend. I recognized her, but I couldn't remember if her name was Lauren, Laurel, or L Lou. And that took a long time to figure out. Did you end up having a conversation with her? Yeah, her name was Nancy. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, that leaves David Hill, <laughs> who I can't help but notice has some green on his sweatshirt, which I would like an explanation of. Oh, I went to um, the Slime Zone with Baby Secrets last week. The Slime Zone last week. <laughs> last week. I like to wear everything repeatedly. <laughs> economical, economical. Uh, can I see your hands? Okay, so it's not really about the hands, but I'm assuming that it's about the zombie hands, which it was a long time since I did any actual schoolwork, uh, but I do remember that when green hands touch black clothes, it makes green marks. Uh, so using my powerful powers of deduction, I'm going to say that the criminal is David Hill. Will the real criminal please step forward? <laughs> you did it. 
<laughs> Look at you all green. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he took off his shoes and everything. I didn't, that didn't really help. Yeah. Well, somehow, I mean, David Hill, your mugshot's going up again, so I guess it's only Link and David Hill's mugshot is going up. <laughs> yeah. We got away with it, girls. I'm just glad to not be in one of the mug shots. <laughs> All right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now, y'all say you know what time it is. You, you know, know what time, time it is. Hi, I'm Simon from Haverhill, Massachusetts. I just turned 16 and got my driver's permit. So I drove to Mythical Street wearing my Mythical shirt, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. What? Is it even real? <gasps> I don't know. Mythical Street. Wow, that's cool. Well, we gotta go there. Click the top link to watch us answer anonymous questions from our very own mythical crew in Good Mythical Morrow. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Check out Mythical Kitchen's latest episode of their new series, Aprons Off, the show where they just stop cooking and hang out. New episodes out every Friday.